Okay, so here is the update. Apparently, Fresh and Fit have apologized twice. Because the first one was bullshit. And I'll let Abba and Preach explain it further. The boys over at Fresh and Fit decided to stop screaming. Period! And uh, posted something on their community page as an apology. Fresh and Fit, we apologize to our supporters. From this point forward, we are not going to engage in any beef. We are here to help you guys navigate women, fitness, and finances. Not drama. We're going to keep giving you guys the content you subscribe for. We apologize for deviating, but we are back on track. Men already get attacked enough in the space, and we are not going to contribute to it. Best of luck to Ab and Preach in their future endeavors. See you guys tonight for a fresh and fit after hours. What do you think about their apology? They apologize to their supporters. He didn't apologize to me or my wife or my country. Now, I'm going to tell you why that apology is lame and it's not really an apology. It's somebody who's losing hold of the bag and is desperately trying to, to get a hold of it again. Um, in caps, we apologize to our supporters. Are these the people that you feel you've offended? Your supporters? No. Your supporters are still backing you because anybody that's supporting you is obviously blinded or or deluded by the shit that you spew regularly. Who offended Preach, his wife and his country. That is who you should be apologizing to, not your supporters. And you should have never detracted from your content to begin with. You should never have detracted from what you are why because you're an alpha you're supposed to be the ultimate of what you are capable of being you're supposed to be the epitome of man so uh why did you lower yourself or reduce yourself to what you feel like you shouldn't have been later that same evening real quick guys okay because uh i know this is probably on everyone's minds we already got six thousand plus live viewers so thank you so much for coming in only four uh, minutes yeah you see what fresh latches on to only four minutes now, uh, Fit brought it up, right? The amount of people that are watching. Like, who cares, man? Who cares about the numbers? If you are, if you are apologizing sincerely, you only care that two people are looking. Preach and his wife. And you really just care that Preach is looking because he could take the message back to his wife. And if you really want to go there, you should be worried about all the people from haiti in miami that are watching it might not be too safe for you to walk down the street bro only yeah <laughs> seriously within four minutes so guys we'll go talk about this real fast <laughs> on this podcast we talk about accountability okay yeah and we are not above taking accountability and i'm gonna tell you guys right now we made a mistake shout out to uh whoever abba and preach's editors are here for superimposing preach's face <laughs> over the image because we back to that stoic face that I was talking about before. This man is pressed. This is a grown ass man. This is an adult. And y'all insulted him. And he's taking it back to medieval times. He wants his satisfaction. Somebody's going to get slapped in the face with a gauntlet and challenged to a duel. Okay. It is not cool to insult a man's country and or wife live on air. We should have kept the disagreement on the topic and not the people. Yep. Okay, smart people discuss ideas, stupid people discuss people. And we made a mistake, all right? So with that said, we apologize, okay, for talking about his wife, his country, and making ad hominem attacks on them. Listen very carefully right here to the, to the subconscious language that he's using. He is not talking directly to preach. He is talking to his supporters about preach. And he, if you're gonna apologize, you apologize to the man. You address the man. Preach, I am sorry. Mrs. Preach, I apologize from, and that's how you apologize. You don't turn to the man next to Preach and say, yeah, I'm apologizing to him. That's lame. That strikes as somebody who can't look another man in the eyes. And, and so many things about these guys are reflecting their, their cowardice to me. And yeah, my son told me about that uh, rip poster in the back, but I got nostalgic feelings about it. I'm not taking it down. Their fellow YouTubers, if we have disagreements, we're going to have disagreements, but the way we went about it was not right. Okay? Yeah. So we got to hold ourselves accountable as well. 
And from this point forward, we're bearing the hatchet. We wish the best. Stop and preach. Yeah, the best, man. We're going to keep making content, giving you guys what you want, and we're going to stay away from the drama. That being said, the boxing, you got our number. Hit us up on the side. You know where we're at. We're in Miami, so let's do it. Yeah. And these guys are still taking this boxing thing as a joke. This is not a joke to preach. He wants retribution. This is not a game. This is not an exhibition match to him. This is, this is a fight. He wants to fight y'all. He wants to do y'all bodily harm. He wants to beat y'all like the little children you were and send y'all back home. That's what he wants to do. So I would advise you against poking the bear and um, urging the next fight because Preach is going to be in your town soon and you're going to have to fight whether you want it or not, whether there's $20,000 on the table or not. You didn't even do that. You proposed a fight, talked shit. Then when the person accepted, you're like, I'll bring $500,000. I offered you $20,000 to just show up. Win or lose, you were gonna get paid. I'll hand you the check beforehand. And you still cowered out talking about, no, we need to get promoters and all. These guys think everything is about money. This ain't about money. And I'm gonna say this to you guys. I don't play with violence. That's why you've never heard me and Preach come on here and say we would fight some people. You've never heard me and Preach go here, with, we would start some stuff. Because where we come from, we understand that's a real thing. You don't play with violence. You don't threaten violence. You don't encourage it. It's not something you take willy-nilly. See what I'm saying? Dead ass preach is not playing right now. Like he's all over it. He don't care. He is taking this very seriously. They don't promote violence. They don't talk about violence. They only use it as a last resort, but they are good at it. Okay? Like those guys over there, they're fresh and fit. They seem like they were, I don't know, man. They, they seem like they had some privilege or they were bullied. And they're they're showing themselves now as as swans, you know, like ugly ducklings turned into swans. I don't know what their problem is, but there's a lot of issues with insecurity, extreme insecurity. That those dudes have on that side because do with the wrong people and you'll get called for it. Y'all were the ones talking crazy. About, I'll box any of these guys. I'll do it. I'll do it. And I'll be both y'all niggas up too. Yeah, I'm the if you really want to talk about that. God you guys want to fucking box? I'll box both you motherfuckers too. And I don't even believe what he's saying right now. I don't believe he want to box him at all. His voice is cracking all over the place. He's fidgeting. And I don't know if you notice how much of a follower Fresh is, but as soon as Fit moved that towel, Fresh moved his towel too. Fresh is a super follower, but he's following the insecurity. I don't get it. Or maybe he's feeding him the... I don't know, man. They are feeding off of each other. Um, Fit feels like because Fresh is so much lower than him as far as security is concerned that he's the alpha. And he's trying, he's trying to behave like an alpha, but he doesn't know what an alpha behaves like. So he's trying. He's acting it out, and Fresh is just following along. But I don't believe him. That's cat. Fuck out of here, man. You guys were the one talking crazy. And that's how I know you guys are soft. You talked all that craziness trying to act out. Oh, hold me back. Hold me. Nobody's holding you back. Preach said he would take both of you guys because he feels some type of way. And you still got nothing to say. Hey, and Preach, I guarantee your, your wife is probably ugly. I said it. <laughs> yo, we you gave her a ring pop and you licked her at your fucking wedding. We should, we should fly her up, bro. weirdo. Hey, yo. We should fly her up. Guarantee her. <laughs> <laughs> Flew <laughs> out. <laughs> you may kiss the bride, this dumbass nigga. <laughs> I love you. See? That right there. Like, nobody else in the room. Like, look at the faces of the young ladies behind them. They are not with it. They can see right through it, man. Like, and they talk about not paying for the box. But I promise you, those women are being compensated for just sitting there. I promise you. I love you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You're making them dumbass ways. <laughs> we fucking help guys make money. We help guys get in shape. We help men improve. What the fuck are Facts. you dumbass niggas doing behind your shitty ass road shotgun, Mike? <laughs> Yo, chat. Put a one in chat if you agree with us. Yo, real talk, man. Y'all niggas, I could tell you niggas stink from the fucking video I'm watching right now. Y'all be sweating in the fucking studio. <laughs> and y'all standing mad awkwardly Yo. close to each other talking to that shitty ass Mike. Hey, <laughs> what you take on this preach? I don't know. <laughs> the fuck, man? You got one Nigga in the chat. sound like Clifford, bro. You got one in the chat. <laughs> y'all don't want it with us. We will roast you Yo, guys. Shot. These guys think it's a game and they can just walk this back. You know, you can't just walk this back. Yo, you're an alpha. 
You know, mean what you say, say what you mean, stand by your words. You know, you said what you said. Alpha. I, you guys are not as charismatic as us. Yeah. You guys repeated it multiple times when you thought you were on top, right? Because y'all got more views, right? So you better and all that stuff. When you got the more power, the perceived perception of that, you want to talk all crazy. And now all of a sudden, when you realize that power is not there, now you want to act a little bit humbled. It's too late now. You want to see someone's character, give them power, and then watch how they treat the less fortunate. And you go understand how they move. Y'all never see me talk to somebody with low subscribers like they're like they're trash or they're riffraff. Never. I've never done that. I do IG lives every day. Every day people show up. And I have long conversations. I don't care. Because it's not about that. What I said before about ABBA and his attire, I still stand behind that. You know, come on. Hygiene, bro. Uh, I'm not saying you're dirty, but hygiene but there is something to it and if it's for this reason i get it because like he says he does engage with people who may perceive themselves lower than him in status or stature he doesn't perceive them that way and perhaps not wearing gucci everything and having jewelry and fancy watches and flaunting your fancy studio and all of this makes you more endearing, makes you more approachable. It's humility. It's, it's part of their integrity, and I respect it. But these guys, you see what they're about. And now they want to charge $2,000 for courses, meet and greets, all this other nonsense while they're lying and faking their whole lifestyle? Nah. I got people in my DMs, other creators that like, maybe we handle this behind. Why would I handle it behind the scenes? You think I want to have a one on one conversation with somebody who doesn't believe in the things that they're saying? You were loud about it. Why do I have to be private? You were loud about this, all of this. You were loud about me. You were loud about my wife. You were loud about my country. You were loud about boxing. I didn't bring this. You did. You were loud about it. You handled it in would, public? Why would I do it in private? There you why? go. There you you go. brought that. There you go. You brought, when you open your mouth, And, and the thing that you that a lot of you may not know is these guys have admitted that they're not even really friends. This is a strictly business relationship. They don't hang out outside of the show. But loyalty is loyalty, man. You see the way Abba just walked off and let Preach take over? That's the type of that's the type of camaraderie that's needed. You don't have to be friends to, to show each other respect and loyalty and to have his back. They got each other's back. And I rock with them 100%. I would love to get onto one of their podcasts and have an open discussion with them, man. Yo, Abba and Preach, yo, I'm a growing YouTuber. I would love the subscribers. I got gaming on my channel, a whole bunch of other stuff. Yo, contact me, man. I would love to have a conversation. I, I've been told that I'm intelligent, and I would love to learn more from the two of you. When you open your mouth, there's consequence to the open your mouth like that. That's what real men do. What did you say? You said I was 40? Exactly. Back in my day, you could open with that. You could open your mouth like that and say stuff like that to people because it might happen. You can't do that. In prison, you can't talk shit like that. If you talk shit about the guard, they're going to ask you to do something about it. Now you were extra loud. Extra, extra loud. You want to talk loud and be extra, extra? Be real about it. There's always going to be a motherfucker that's going to be realer than you. Always. Hmm. Know that. You want to do this? I was right here. I'm still here. You know what they said? Oh, I'm going to be here, here. You know what they said? They said, why would we do a two versus one? That doesn't make sense. No, I'm going to take one bitch and the other bitch. <laughs> you guys are two bitches. Twin sisters. That's your new name. Not fresh and fit. Twin sisters. <laughs> Twin sisters. I love it. I'm putting that in the title. <laughs> Twin sisters is the appropriate name for these guys. Twin sisters. Twin sisters. I'm going to say it again. Twin sisters. Let's go. These guys turned, changed their tune once they saw subscribers going down. That's how you know they lack principle. They're so caught up in numbers. They changed what they said. They deleted their videos. They deleted everything, right? Just because they lost subscribers. Mm -hmm. You want to stand behind a man? You want to call us out? Who on only that. stands behind numbers? Yo, how long have we been at 1.38 for? The past three fucking months? Yeah. It is what it is. Who cares? We haven't it grown is, that much. It is what it is. Does it matter? Not really. It didn't matter when we had 300K. It didn't matter when we had 69K. 
Y'all notice the outro still says 69k because it's all the same. That's, that's the worst part. Our outro. We never change the outro. Look at the fucking outro. It says 60 whatever now. You know what kills me? You know what kills me? People mad. Well, why would you make the video in the first place? Y'all ain't got nothing to say when we cover Skippy or any other individual and we go at it like that. Yeah, and that's the response to all the people in my comment section that was saying that Abba and Preach started it. This is what they do. They react to stuff. They point people in the right direction. If you're really paying attention, they're pointing you in the right direction. They're giving you sound, solid advice. They're not, they're not uh, clout chasing, and they're not trying to trash anybody. They're trying to help everybody grow, legitimately. And hopefully fresh and fit grow from this. They might grow a few knots on their head, but... I hope they grow from this. Damn, it's these dudes. They invited you in their home. No, they begged us to come on a podcast with them. Don't get it twisted. We're I not got, friends. I got the we receipts. We didn't text. I got the okay? receipts. And I hold everyone accountable. If you say something crazy online, I'm not going to call you in private, okay? Unless it's a private matter. They publicly said some stupid shit. So we said, let's dissect that stupid stuff. But now, because it's your hero, oh, Abba or like Two-Faced. What's Two-Faced? I went on that podcast and I went right to Myron's face because he was talking crazy on another podcast. You know what I told him? Why were you saying that stuff? He started stuttering. I don't remember calling you blue-pilled, beta. Uh. And don't get it twisted. I am fully confident that ABBA would beat both of their asses, too. Just saying. Specifically, you felt like we were kind of blue-pilled, right? Uh, I don't remember. What, what show What show was this one? I remember it very, very well because that episode, I was very careful of what I said because it gets you watched it. That and right there is another example of the beta mentality from our boy Fresh. Look how... Yo, how quick did he throw fit under the bus? This guy lack, I'm, Abby, you're right. This guy lacks, extremely lacks self-awareness and they have a lot of difficulty reading the room. Like, Fresh, you didn't know that Fit was trying to deflect and avoid answering that question? You didn't know. You didn't know he was crawling back into his shell. You didn't know he was retreating. He just threw him right under the bus. Oh, you don't remember? I remember it clearly. We'll pull it up right now. I'm so, I was very careful of what I said because it gets you shit. So I, I just want to ask you about that. Why do you think I'm, I'm, I might be blue pilled? Um. Well, from what I remember, I'm trying. I'm, try I'm trying to remember. I would say uh, blue. Like, I'm trying. I'm, try I'm trying to remember. I would say uh, blue. Like, I'm trying. I'm, try I'm trying to remember. I would say uh, blue. Like, hmm. I'm trying to. I'm trying to think. Like, what? Which video was? It was the one. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to remember. I said, I quoted it right to his face. Even even the goofy, fresh boy. He was like, oh, Abba came with the smoke. I also find it funny What's up? that he came with the smoke. He find it funny that Abba came with the smoke because he's not used to seeing alpha behavior up close and personal like that. He's mesmerized by it. It's He's in awe. And he indicated earlier that he was watching what he was saying because Abba might be watching. Bruh, speak your mind. You scared? You scared? You scared of Abba? The dirty Abba, you scared of him? The guy that y'all had on your podcast, you scared? Fresh? Huh? The idea that I wouldn't come to people and confront them about things they say, are you guys mad? Hmm? But don't ever come out here talking all this stuff. Just say you're a fanboy and you can't help simp for them. I'm not mad at it. Everyone, when I was a kid, Batman was magic. Everyone's like, Superman's better. I said, fuck no. Even though Superman got laser beam coming out of his eyes, it's obvious he's better. But I get it, you know what I mean? That's that's Batman. Clark Kent. What? Superman's stupid. Stupid character. Definitely better, stronger. But he's stupid. Agreed. I'm not a fan of Clark Kent. It's like, come on, B. But he's still stronger. Yeah, but if he's not, he's not wise enough to use it. Goku's not the strongest character because he's stupid. I mean, Goku's pretty weak, but that's a different story. That's that is, we got, we got, this is a nerd. Yo, they almost got me triggered with that Batman, Superman, Goku talk. All right, let's stay on topic, guys. Let's stay on topic. Stay on topic. Shit. So, if they say some more dumb stuff in the future, we're going to cover it. The same way we covered Skippy. The same way we covered Amanda Seals. The same way we covered anybody. I like Phil DeFranco. Phil DeFranco said some dumb shit. We covered it. Period. It, it ain't Two-Face. All right. So, you all do you. We got more videos of y'all we're going to react to. We're going to keep deconstructing the stupid shit y'all say. I want to take this opportunity to shout out Abba and Preach. I want to thank you two guys for existing because, man, y'all really helped me out a lot just from the content that I'm putting out based on the feud that y'all are going through, man. Thank you guys for being an example that I want to set that I could display and dissect the way y'all do. 
your videos. Um, perhaps my platform has to pivot, but it is what it is. I also want to shout out to my Zos. You know, Sac Passe. You know, my homie Grinsa, Joker. Love you guys. All right. Anyway, enjoy the rest of the video. And I'll see you next time. And if y'all want to stop watching, stop watching. I don't care. Tell us what you guys think. Do you guys agree with their apology? Do you disagree with us and the way we're handling it? We'll listen to everybody.